What's up everybody? It's your girl Monique. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're about to take you guys on a wild ride to Hanoi, Vietnam. This place is insane. You won't believe the stuff we saw and the food we ate. Get ready for some crazy adventures, delicious food and unforgettable experiences because we're diving headfirst into the top 10 must-see attractions in Hanoi. Oh, and real quick, smash that subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of the craziness. All right, first up, we're starting with Huan Kim Lake, right in the heart of Hanoi. This lake is not just any ordinary body of water. It's a place where history, culture and nature converge in the most beautiful way. Imagine this. You're walking down a busy street, horns honking, people everywhere, and then BAM! You suddenly find yourself in a completely different atmosphere. You stumble upon this peaceful oasis. The contrast is striking. One moment you're in the hustle and bustle of the city, and the next you're surrounded by calm waters and lush greenery. It's like stepping into a completely different world. The air feels fresher, the sounds are softer, and you can actually hear the birds chirping. It's a sanctuary in the middle of urban chaos. This lake is iconic, guys. It's not just a pretty spot, it's a symbol of Hanoi itself. The name Hoan Kiem means Lake of the Returned Sword, and there's a fascinating legend behind it. The locals love it, and you will too. It's a place where people come to relax, exercise, and spend time with family and friends. You can see people jogging, doing Tai Chi, or just sitting and enjoying the view. We're talking stunning views, willow trees swaying in the breeze and a giant turtle statue. The willow trees add a touch of elegance and serenity to the landscape, making it a perfect spot for photography. Okay, so the turtle is a legend, but still super cool, right? According to the legend, a giant turtle emerged from the lake to reclaim a magical sword given to Emperor Laloi, which he used to defeat the Chinese Ming Dynasty. This story adds a layer of mystique to the lake. We rented one of those swan boats and let me tell you, it was hilarious. Definitely recommend doing that. It's a fun way to explore the lake and get a different perspective of the surroundings. Plus, it's a great activity for families and couples. And if you think the lake is beautiful during the day, wait until you see it at night. The illuminated bridge and the reflections on the water create a magical atmosphere. It's a sight you won't want to miss. Don't forget to visit Ngok Son Temple, located on a small island in the lake. This temple is dedicated to General Tran Hung Dao, a national hero, and it's a place of great cultural and historical significance. The temple is connected to the shore by the iconic Red Huck Bridge, which is a popular spot for photos. After exploring the lake, make sure to check out the street food vendors nearby. The area around Huan Kiem Lake is known for its vibrant street food scene. You can try delicious local dishes like pho, banh mi and fresh spring rolls. It's a food lover's paradise. And if you're into shopping, the night market near the lake is a must visit. You can find a variety of souvenirs, local crafts and unique items to take home. The market is bustling with activity and offers a glimpse into the local culture. The area around Huan Kim Lake is also a hub for entertainment. You can catch live music performances, street performers and various cultural events. It's a lively and dynamic place that offers something for everyone. So, whether you're looking for a peaceful retreat, a cultural experience or just a fun day out, Huan Kim Lake has it all. It's a place where you can unwind, learn and create lasting memories. Don't miss it when you're in Hanoi. Okay, buckle up, because the old quarter is a wild ride. This place is buzzing with energy 24-7. From the early morning when the first rays of sunlight hit the ancient streets, to the late hours of the night when the city is still alive with the hum of activity, there's never a dull moment. We're talking narrow streets packed with shops, each one offering a unique glimpse into the local culture. These streets are a labyrinth of history, where every corner tells a story street vendors cooking up the most delicious food, the aroma of which fills the air and draws you in. From sizzling skewers to steaming bowls of noodles, the culinary delights are endless, and scooters zipping around everywhere. It's a symphony of honks and engines, a testament to the city's vibrant pace of life. Seriously, it's like organized chaos in the best way possible. The hustle and bustle might seem overwhelming at first, but there's a rhythm to it, a harmony that makes it all work seamlessly. You can find literally anything here, from silk dresses to handmade souvenirs. The craftsmanship is exquisite, 
and each item has a story behind it, waiting to be discovered. And don't even get me started on the street food. The variety is staggering, and every bite is a new adventure. Whether you're a foodie or just looking to try something new, the Old Quarters street food scene is a must experience. We had the best foe of our lives in the Old Quarter. The broth was rich and flavorful, the noodles perfectly cooked, and the fresh herbs added a burst of freshness. It's a meal that stays with you long after the last spoonful. Trust me, you'll want to spend a whole day getting lost in this maze of history and culture. Every alleyway leads to a new discovery, whether it's a hidden temple, a quaint cafe, or a bustling market. The Old Quarter is a living, breathing museum where the past and present coexist in perfect harmony. So take your time, soak it all in, and let the magic of Hanoi's Old Quarter sweep you off your feet. Next up, we visited the Ho Chi Minh Mausoleum, a super important landmark in Vietnam. This is where Ho Chi Minh, the country's beloved leader, rests. The atmosphere here is super respectful and somber, so be prepared for that. It's a really interesting experience to witness how much the Vietnamese people revere Ho Chi Minh. Make sure to check the dress code beforehand because they're pretty strict about it. It's a bit of a walk to get there, but trust me, it's worth it to pay your respects and learn more about Vietnam's history. The mausoleum is located in Ba Dinh Square, which is a significant historical site in itself. The square is beautifully maintained, with lush gardens and well-kept pathways. One of the highlights of visiting the mausoleum is witnessing the changing of the guard ceremony. The guards are impeccably dressed and their movements are precise and disciplined. It's a moment that many visitors look forward to and capture on camera. Inside the mausoleum, you'll find the preserved body of Ho Chi Minh lying in a glass case. The interior is dimly lit and the atmosphere is one of deep reverence and respect. It's a unique experience to see the preserved body of such a significant historical figure. There are also educational displays that provide more information about Ho Chi Minh's life and legacy. These displays help visitors understand the impact he had on Vietnam and its people. If you have the chance, visit the mausoleum at night when it's beautifully lit up. The entire Ba Dinh Square takes on a magical quality with the lights, making it a memorable experience. Many tourists and locals alike enjoy evening strolls around the square, taking in the serene atmosphere. Don't forget to check out the souvenir shops nearby for some memorabilia to remember your visit. You can find a variety of items related to Ho Chi Minh and Vietnam's history. It's a great way to take a piece of this historical experience home with you. Visiting the Ho Chi Minh Mausoleum is not just about paying respects, but also about understanding a pivotal part of Vietnam's history. As you leave, you'll find yourself reflecting on the profound impact Ho Chi Minh had on this nation. Ba Dinh Square and the Ho Chi Minh Mausoleum together offer a deep dive into the heart of Vietnam's past and present. It's a visit that leaves a lasting impression, reminding us of the enduring legacy of Ho Chi Minh. Okay, this one's for all my history buffs out there. The Temple of Literature is a beautifully preserved temple dedicated to Confucius. It's also home to Vietnam's first national university, which is super cool. Walking through the courtyards and ancient buildings, you can practically feel the history and knowledge seeping from the walls. It's a really peaceful and serene place, a nice contrast to the craziness of the city. Plus, the architecture is absolutely stunning. Don't forget to snap some pics for the gram. Get ready to be blown away by the Hanoi Opera House. This architectural masterpiece is straight out of a fairy tale. We're talking grand staircases, sparkling chandeliers and ornate details everywhere you look. We managed to snag tickets to a traditional Vietnamese opera and it was incredible. The costumes, the music, the whole experience was just magical. Even if you don't have time for a show, definitely swing by and admire the building from the outside. It's truly a sight to behold. You guys, you have to check out the Thang Long Water Puppet Theatre. This is one of the most unique and entertaining things we did in Hanoi. Imagine puppets dancing on water, telling stories with music and fire. It's like nothing you've ever seen before. The puppeteers are incredibly skilled and the stories are fascinating, even if you don't understand Vietnamese. It's a fun experience for all ages and it's a great way to immerse yourself in Vietnamese culture. 
Next up, we hopped on a boat and headed over to Tran Quoc Pagoda, the oldest Buddhist temple in Hanoi. This place is located on a tiny little island in West Lake, and it's like stepping back in time. The temple itself is stunning, with intricate carvings and colorful decorations. But the best part, the peaceful and serene atmosphere. We spent hours just wandering around, admiring the views and soaking up the tranquility. If you need a break from the city buzz, this is the place to be. All right, get ready to learn something new at the Vietnam Museum of Ethnology. This museum is dedicated to showcasing the incredible diversity of Vietnamese culture. We're talking traditional costumes, musical instruments, houses from different ethnic groups, and so much more. It's a fascinating glimpse into the lives of people from all over Vietnam, and it's a great way to learn about the country's rich cultural heritage. Plus, they have a whole outdoor area with life-size replicas of traditional houses, which is super cool. Calling all shopaholics, Dong Xuan Market is a must visit for anyone who loves a good bargain. This massive indoor market has everything you could possibly imagine, from souvenirs and clothes to electronics and household goods. Be prepared to haggle though, it's all part of the fun, and you can get some amazing deals if you know how to play your cards right. Even if you're not in the mood for shopping, it's worth checking out the market just for the atmosphere. It's a sensory overload in the best way possible. All right, let's talk food. You can't go to Hanoi without trying bun cha, and let me tell you, it lived up to the hype. Imagine this, grilled pork patties, rice noodles, fresh herbs, and a dipping sauce that will rock your world. It's the perfect combination of sweet, savory, and tangy, and it's seriously addictive. We had it at a little hole in the wall place that the locals recommended, and it was the best decision ever. Trust me, your taste buds will thank you. So there you have it, guys, our top 10 must-see attractions in Hanoi, Vietnam. This city is seriously amazing, and we had the best time exploring everything it has to offer. From the peaceful lakes to the bustling markets, Hanoi has something for everyone. If you're planning a trip to Southeast Asia, put Hanoi on your list. You won't regret it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to my channel for more travel vlogs. Until next time, Peace out.